Did you know there are animals out there that can actually freeze themselves to survive? Sounds crazy, right? From icy cold winters to freezing waters, these creatures have mastered the art of freezing to stay alive. Stick around to discover their amazing survival secrets and stay tuned until the end for cryonics that will freeze your mind. Don't miss it. The Mountain Stone Weta. Have you ever heard of a bug that can survive being frozen solid? Meet New Zealand's Mountain Stone Weta. This freaky looking insect spends about five months of the year in a frozen state. But here's the wild part. Up to 85% of its body tissues can freeze without any harm. That makes it one of the toughest bugs on the planet. Even more incredible, the mountain stone weta is the largest freeze-tolerant insect in the world. It has mastered the art of surviving harsh winters like no other creature. While most insects wouldn't stand a chance in freezing temperatures, this bug treats it like a long nap. The gray tree frog. You won't believe what the gray tree frog can do to survive winter. Found across the eastern and central United States and much of Canada, this little frog takes hibernation to the next level. Instead of burrowing underground, it hides in trees to endure freezing temperatures. But here's the shocking part. It can freeze itself solid. The gray tree frog produces a special substance called glycerol that works like natural antifreeze. This incredible ability lets its body fluids reach temperatures as low as 98 degrees Celsius without causing harm. Even though it's frozen, its metabolism stays alive, but incredibly slow, allowing it to survive harsh winters like a living ice cube. Goldenrod Gallfly Surviving a harsh winter isn't easy, but the larvae of the Goldenrod Gallfly have a secret weapon. They're practically freeze-proof. Found across North America, these tiny creatures prepare for the cold by stockpiling sorbitol and glycerol in their bodies during the fall. These compounds act like natural antifreeze, keeping their bodily fluids from freezing, even in the iciest conditions. Here's the twist. Cold weather isn't just something they endure, it's something they thrive in. Studies show that goldenrod gallfly larvae actually have better survival rates in freezing winters compared to warmer ones. Warmer winters, ironically, seem to lower their chances of survival, proving that these tough little insects are built for the chill. Nematodes. What if I told you a tiny worm could outlive civilizations? Nematodes, microscopic worms, shocked scientists in 2023 when some were found frozen in Siberian permafrost. These ancient creatures had been buried for an astounding 46,000 years. Their secret? A survival trick called cryptobiosis, where their metabolism and oxygen use drop to undetectable levels. It's like hitting the ultimate pause button on life allowing them to survive the harshest conditions without a scratch. Here's the wildest part. When scientists warmed these frozen nematodes, they came back to life as if nothing happened. After tens of thousands of years in the ice, they moved and functioned just like their modern relatives. This incredible discovery shows the resilience of nature and has researchers wondering what other secrets might be hidden in the frozen depths of Earth. Siberian Salamanders would you believe there's a creature that can survive being frozen solid for months? Meet the Siberian salamander, a humble yet extraordinary survivor found in northeastern Russia, China, Mongolia, Japan, the Korean Peninsula, and Kazakhstan. These amazing amphibians can endure bone-chilling temperatures as low as minus 45 degrees. When winter takes hold, they freeze completely, only to wake up when temperatures rise, as if nothing happened. Their secret? It's all about survival science. The Siberian salamander sheds 75% of its body weight through water loss, shrinks its liver, and ramps up glycerol in its body. This incredible process protects its organs from freezing damage. When warmer days return, it reanimates and goes back to its daily activities like a pro. Nature sure knows how to create miracles, doesn't it? Iguanas. Picture this, iguanas falling from trees like frozen statues. These reptiles, native to Central and South America, thrive in hot, stable climates near the equator. But in the 1960s and 70s, people brought them to Florida as exotic pets. Over time, many escaped or were released, and their population boomed. The problem? Florida's winters are much colder than what iguanas are used to. When temperatures drop, these cold-blooded creatures can't generate their own heat. Instead, they go into a state of shock, their bodies slowing down to survive. 
This paralysis causes them to fall out of trees, startling residents below. Now, falling iguanas aren't just bizarre, they can be dangerous. Cars have been damaged, and people have even been injured by these frozen reptiles. Authorities have had to issue warnings to avoid touching them. Why? Once they warm up, iguanas recover quickly, and can become aggressive if approached. So if you see one lying on the ground, it's best to keep your distance. Florida's iguana showers are just another reminder of how wildlife adapts in unexpected ways. Alaska Darkling Beetle and Red Flatbark Beetle Surviving in the icy wilderness is no small feat, but the Alaska Darkling Beetle has an incredible trick up its sleeve. Found in the freezing forests of northern Canada and Alaska, this unassuming black beetle thrives where temperatures plummet to an astonishing minus 60 degrees Celsius. Its secret? A sugar-based antifreeze called Xylon, combined with oily compounds that shield its cells from freezing damage. While most cold-dwelling creatures rely on proteins to stop ice formation, the Alaska Darkling Beetle takes it a step further, using Xylon to prevent ice from invading its cells. Amazingly, this adaptation allows the beetle to function even when frozen solid. Nature's version of cryopreservation. On the flip side, the red flat bark beetle takes an entirely different approach to survive Alaska's brutal cold. Rather than tolerating freezing, it avoids it altogether by burrowing beneath leaves and snow. Starting in August, this beetle produces antifreeze proteins and later switches to glycerol to lower its freezing point. It even dehydrates itself to become nearly freeze-proof, enduring temperatures as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius. Scientists believe these beetles hold promise for human applications. From preserving organs to non-toxic dicing solutions, their natural antifreeze systems could revolutionize industries. Who knew these tiny creatures could inspire such big ideas? Woolly Bear Caterpillar Deep in the Arctic, where most bugs can't survive the harsh cold, there's one exception, the woolly bear caterpillar. This amazing creature spends about 90% of its life frozen. Born from the Isabella tiger moth, the woolly bear caterpillar faces freezing temperatures right after it hatches. To survive, it lets its body freeze solid, including its heart and organs. But don't worry, it doesn't die. The caterpillar produces a special substance that keeps the inside of its cells from freezing, even while the outside freezes. It also hides inside a protective cocoon, called a hibernaculum, to shield itself from the cold and parasites. When spring arrives, the caterpillar thaws out and continues its life. However, its journey isn't over. The caterpillar needs to eat enough food to prepare for its transformation into a moth. Sometimes it can take years to reach that stage, and some caterpillars live up to 14 years. But once it's ready, it becomes a moth, living for just one or two weeks. During that short time, the moth mates, lays eggs, and dies. Interestingly, northern communities have incorporated the woolly bear caterpillar into their folklore. People believe the color of its fur or the pattern on its wings can predict the coming winter. Despite all the myths, the woolly bear caterpillar and its transformation into a moth are truly fascinating. American Alligator American alligators are tough, tough creatures that have adapted to survive in extreme conditions. When you think of them, you might picture the warm swamps of the Everglades or the Louisiana Bayou. These places are usually hot, and that's when alligators thrive, using the sun to regulate their body temperature. Their back ridges, known as scoots, act like heat conductors, helping them absorb and distribute warmth. But when temperatures drop, things get tricky for these cold-blooded reptiles. In cold weather, alligators slow down and even enter a state called brumation, where their metabolism drops and they become lethargic. In places like South Carolina, they can remain dormant for four to five months, starting in November. But how do they survive when the cold takes over? Alligators have a unique way of dealing with freezing temperatures. They keep their snouts above water by creating small holes in the ice to breathe allowing them to survive even when the water temperature falls below freezing. Unlike American crocodiles, which can't survive cold water, alligators can endure much lower temperatures. This ability allows them to live much further north than most crocodilians, making them one of the few species that can thrive in cold environments. Once the temperatures warm up, these resilient creatures awake from their brumation and slowly get back to their normal active state. Arctic Ground Squirrel 
When you think of animals that survive harsh winters, the Arctic ground squirrel might not be the first to come to mind, but it should be. These incredible creatures can freeze themselves for months, from early August to late April, reducing their body temperature from 37 degrees Celsius to as low as minus 3 degrees. During this time, their heart rate drops to just one beat per minute, and their metabolism nearly stops. Their blood temperature even goes below freezing every three weeks for about 15 hours. But here's the kicker. During this period, their body functions barely move beyond a sleepy state, and they just freeze until it's time to wake up in the spring. This cycle repeats itself, allowing the squirrels to survive the freezing cold like true masters of hibernation. But how do they pull off this astonishing feat? It turns out, the Arctic ground squirrel has a special trick up its sleeve. While their feet and bellies drop below freezing, their necks stay warmer at around 7 degrees Celsius, which helps keep their brain functioning. Without this trick, their brains would literally wither away during hibernation. Even more impressive, these squirrels have a unique enzyme that lets them switch from burning carbohydrates to burning fat during hibernation. This enzyme is crucial for protecting their body while they shiver and ensures they wake up in spring without any lasting damage. It's no wonder scientists are still studying these squirrels to understand how they do it. This little animal is truly a survival expert. Wood frog. When you think of frogs, you probably don't imagine one that can freeze solid for the winter, but the wood frog can do just that. As the temperature drops, ice starts to form inside its body, covering its internal organs. During this freezing process, glucose, a sugary syrup, gets pumped into the frog's cells, protecting them from freezing and dehydration. The frog's organs and tissues freeze on the outside, but the inside remains safe and untouched, allowing the wood frog to survive for months in a frozen state. During this time, it doesn't breathe, move, or have a heartbeat, but come spring, it thaws out and goes about its usual activities. This remarkable ability to survive freezing temperatures has caught the attention of scientists. They're studying how the wood frog's freezing technique could help preserve human organs for longer periods. Right now, organ transplants are difficult because organs only last for a few hours outside the body. However, if scientists can use the frog's method to freeze complex organs like hearts, they could potentially improve organ transport and preserve them for much longer. Some labs are already experimenting with this idea, hoping to find a way to make organ preservation more effective. But we're still waiting to see if it can be done on a large scale. Western Pain Painted Turtle, found across the northern United States and Canada, has an incredible survival skill. Unlike most animals, it can survive freezing temperatures during the harsh winter months. This turtle uses a natural antifreeze in its blood, which keeps its body from freezing even when the outside temperature drops below freezing. In the winter, baby turtles stay frozen in their nest, safe as long as nothing disturbs them. Adult painted turtles, on the other hand, can survive without oxygen for long periods, even up to four months if the temperature drops low enough. Scientists were amazed when they discovered how these turtles could freeze without suffering any brain damage. After years of research, a team of 50 international scientists found the answer. It's all in the turtles' genes. Their genome, which is surprisingly similar to ours, includes special genes that allow the turtle to survive freezing and oxygen loss. These genes are found in all vertebrates, but the painted turtle expresses them differently. Researchers believe that studying these genes could offer exciting possibilities for human health, helping us unlock some of the turtle's incredible superpowers. Tardigrades. You won't believe how tough a tiny creature can be until you hear about the tardigrade. Known as the water bear, these microscopic animals are only half a millimeter long, about the size of a period at the end of a sentence. Despite their small size, they're found everywhere there's water. Oceans, rivers, lakes, and even the moisture on moss and lichen. These tiny survivors thrive in some of the harshest environments on Earth, from the highest mountain peaks to the deepest ocean trenches. With a varied diet that includes plants, algae, fungi, and microscopic creatures like worms, tardigrades are masters of adaptation. But what makes them truly remarkable is their ability to survive extreme conditions by entering a state called cryptobiosis, 
where they essentially freeze in time, waiting for better conditions to return. What makes tardigrades nearly invincible is their ability to go into cryptobiosis. When facing too much heat, cold, or a lack of oxygen, they slow their metabolism, expel almost all the water in their bodies, and curl up into a dried ball. This tough state allows them to survive boiling temperatures, the vacuum of space, and even deadly cosmic radiation. However, they're not completely indestructible. Extreme heat for long periods can still kill them. But tardigrades? Incredible resilience could also help humanity. Researchers have discovered that tardigrade proteins can stabilize important medicines like factor VIII, used to treat hemophilia. This breakthrough could make it possible to store life-saving medications in harsh conditions, like during natural disasters or on the battlefield. Even more recently, scientists found that tardigrades can repair radiation damage, which could be crucial for protecting astronauts or cleaning up nuclear waste. Cryonics. What if you could freeze yourself and wake up hundreds of years later, revived and ready to live again? It sounds like something from a science fiction movie, but the idea of cryonics, or freezing the body in hopes of future revival, has been explored seriously for decades. Research on this concept began in the 1940s with French biologist Jean Rostand, who studied how extreme cold affects living things. Inspired by his work, Robert Ettinger published The Prospect of Immortality in 1962, suggesting that with the right technology, humans could be frozen and revived in the future. The movement gained momentum, and in 1967, James Bedford became the first person to be cryogenically frozen. However, inconsistent freezing methods led to compromised bodies, and Bedford's is the only one from that time still frozen today though even it has suffered damage. While the science behind cryonics has progressed, it still faces many challenges. The freezing process involves cooling the body and replacing its blood with a cryoprotectant to prevent ice crystals, which could cause serious damage. The body is then stored at 9 196 D Celsius in a chamber filled with liquid nitrogen. But this process is far from perfect as there's no guarantee it will stop decay or preserve the brain's intricate details. The idea that technology might one day revive the brain and restore a person's memories and personality is uncertain at best. Plus, critics argue that resources might be better used to improve current medical care rather than pursuing immortality. There are also concerns about the ethical implications, with fears that those revived might not be the same people they once were. Cryonics remains a topic of debate, leaving many to wonder if it's a futuristic hope or simply a dream for science fiction. What do you think? Should we pursue cryonics or is it best left to the movies? Let me know in the comments.